Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this cute little lemon gnome. If you wanna know how to make him, stick around. I'll show you how. And just a heads up, I'm gonna start doing some other crafting videos as well, not on Mondays, but I'll be doing them on a Thursday. So if you wanna learn some new techniques, be sure and join me. Thanks for watching. Okay, you can need some cotton fabric, some jean material, some felt, some fleece, a couple little Dollar Tree shoes. You can need some ribbon, some faux fur. You can need a dowel stick. You can need a couple noodles for your hair, some beads for the hands and the nose, some decor, some weights, and a comb. Okay, first thing I did is I cut a piece of fabric that was 11 and a half by 11 and a half. And then I'm going to lay my cone right down the center because I want my stripes right down the front. And you're going to start pinning at the very top of the cone as close to the cone as you can get all the way down but make sure you start at the top so that it doesn't move on you this way you can use just about any size cone that you want to this is just making your own pattern for your cone once we get that on there i'm going to go ahead and cut straight up the top a half an inch from that cone and then cut off the top part then go ahead and unpin it and then I'm going to go ahead and take my fabric, leave it folded over facing each other, and I'm just going to glue that shut. That way we'll have a nice seam down the back. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and take it and put it on the cone, leaving it inside out. Pull it down as far as you can. And then we're going to go ahead and fold that other se the seam that we just made over onto the fabric so that it's not bunched up in the back. And then just get that glued all the way down. Then I'm going to put a rubber wrap band around the top just to hold it in place. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold my fabric back. And I'm going to I'm going to fold it back to about a quarter inch from the bottom of the of the cone. And then I'm going to cut off all the way around leaving only a half of an inch left to him. Okay, then go ahead and take your fabric and tuck it in. So we're going to have like a quarter inch fold twice because you don't want any of the raw edges showing. So just tuck it in and glue it all the way around. Take your rubber band off and then go ahead and finish um, gluing any spots that you didn't get. And then we're going to go ahead and turn it right side out. Okay, we're going to set that aside and we're going to take the bottom of our cone, trace a circle out on some more fabric, like the fabric that you just used. And then we're going to cut out about a half an inch away from that circle because we are going to glue this onto the bottom of the cone and up the sides. So take your glue, just put some glue on the bottom of the cone, and then go ahead and set that on the opposite side of the fabric. Then go ahead and start adding the slits. I'm using about quarter inch slits all the way around. And then we're just going to glue those straight up onto that cone. This way if anybody ever turns the gnome over and looks at the bottom of it, it'll have a nice finished out edge. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and attach our um, shirt back onto our body. Pull it straight down, and then we're going to go ahead and put another rubber band around the top. And then we're going to come back in with some rickrack and add an accent around the bottom edge. And you can use whatever you want to or as an accent, if you, or you don't even have to add an accent if you don't want one. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and do our um, shoes. You're going to take your noodle, and that's a 5 8 inch noodle. We're going to measure 2 inches, and we're going to cut two of them exactly the same length. Then we're going to take a quarter inch dowel stick that's 6 inches, and we are going to sharpen both ends of it. And I'm just using a pencil sharpener. Then we're going to take our um, miter cutter, and we're going to cut this at 3 inches. And then go ahead and put those up into your noodle, and that's going to be his legs. Ok, 
Okay, then we're going to go ahead and um, add some weights to his shoes, to the bottom of his shoes. I'm using some 5 16 inch um, nuts, and I'm just using two in each one of them. That was plenty. And then I'm going to use a piece of felt to put, to, to put over the bottom of them. So just take your felt and glue your shoes to the felt. And then we're going to cut around them. Okay, just go ahead and cut it out and then just cut between the two shoes and then we're just going to cut about a quarter of an inch around the bottom of that shoe on both of them and then we are going to cut little slits in it quarter inch slits all the way around to glue up to the shoe and this will give it a nice finished out look when you get everything put together just glue that right to the shoe all the way up, all the way around. And then I'm using two two inch by six inch pieces of fabric to do to put around the shoe. If you want your shoes to look exactly alike, you'll need to cut your pattern out at the same spot. Now, I, if I had to change mine out a little bit because I had one stripe going one way and one stripe going the other way. So if you're using a stripe, you might want to pay attention to that. We're going to go ahead and glue up one side. And then we're going to take it and we're going to start at the back. Glue that in and then we'll just go all the way around on the bottom. And then go ahead and um, hem up the other side and then glue that down. Then I'm going to add a little bit of glue in the front and just push that on back straight. And then we're going to kind of fold the two sides in and glue them in. So fold them over in the front like that. And just add a little bit of glue underneath them. And then go ahead and tuck the, all that down inside that shoe. Do the same thing with the other shoe. Then we're going to take some ribbon. I'm just taking a quarter inch ribbon and I'm just going to trim out the bottom of the shoe with the ribbon. And you can use craft foam or felt, whatever you want to do. Just make sure that you do trim out the bottom because it does make them look nice. And pull it, kind of stretch it as you're going around there so you don't have any gaps in it. When you get to the very, very back, just fold that ribbon over and glue it down before you glue it so it has a nice trimmed out edge and you don't have any fraying. And do the same thing for your other shoe. Next, we're going to take some ribbon and we're just going to tie a little uh, ribbon, a little bow, and put it at the very um, top edge of the shoe. So it kind of looks like he has laces. Okay, so next we're going to make his pants. We're taking a three inch by two and three quarter inch piece of fabric. We're just going to roll up the three inch side. Go ahead and put one seam down the side, so on one side, so you have a nice seam for the back. And just roll it up and do the same thing for the other one. And we're making that noodle flush with the bottom. Then we're going to take and cut little slits in it, quarter inch slits all the way around and then trim off any excess at the top so that when you glue that down, it is flush with the top of that noodle. Just go ahead and add glue all the way around inside the noodle and then push that on down till it's flat and do the same thing for the other one. Then we're going to go ahead and attach it to the shoes. Just go ahead and put a bunch of glue inside the shoe and stick each one of them down. Make sure that your um, seam is in the back. Okay, we're going to go ahead and um, put those inside of our noodle. Just go ahead and push them in, kind of um, centered, and then pushed in on the, on the outside edge. Probably about a half inch in on each side. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and take them back out, and we're going to glue them in.
going to cut our beard. We're going to cut it at two inches in length by two and a quarter inches wide. And then you're just going to draw a U shape all the way around, connecting the dots, and then cut behind the faux fur only on the backing all the way around. And then we're going to clean any excess off with a comb. Next, we're going to make our hat. We're going to fold it over on the 10 inch side, go up a quarter, an inch and a quarter, and curve it all the way up to the point. Then open it up and then go ahead and glue it down. Now, there's a furry side and a non furry side to the fleece. I'm making my hat so the outside is the furry side. Okay, then we're going to take a pipe cleaner. We're going to cut two of them at six inches, or you can just cut one in half. I don't know what I was thinking here. We're going to glue one down one side of the back. And then we're going to glue the other one on the opposite side on the back. And then we are going to turn our edge up an inch all the way around. And then we are going to glue that down. Just make sure it's even all the way around and just glue it in. Then we're going to turn it right side out. And I'm just taking pliers and sticking them up in there. You kind of grab the end of it and pull it out. It really is an easy way to do this. And then go ahead and make the point come back out. Next, I'm going to take my gnome and I'm going to measure three and three quarters inch from the top edge. And that's where I'm going to attach my beard. Just kind of get it centered in there. And then go ahead and take the hat, pull it on down. You're going to pull it down farther in the back than in the front. And then we're going to lift back the hat and we're going to attach the nose just about a half an inch from the top edge. And then go ahead and attach the top part of the hat to the top part of the nose. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and do the arms. You're going to take one of the noodles, go ahead and take your wire out. And we are going to cut them, two of them at three inches in length each. And then we're going to put the wire back inside of them. And we're going to measure that at four inches. And I'm using the hook end on both of them as the part that's going to go into the body. So go ahead and stick it down into your um, noodle and glue the blunt end inside the bottom, flush with the bottom on both of them and then we're going to come back in and we are going to glue the top part in as well. Then I'm going to take my fabric on the two and a half inch side length. I'm going to go ahead and fold up one side and hem it up and the same thing on the four inch side. Then when you attach your noodle, just make sure you leave enough room to put that ball in there for the hand. Go ahead and glue it up and light and loosely roll it up so that you can still get the um, ball in there for his hand, the bead in there for his hand. And then put the bead in there and do the same thing with the other arm. And then we're going to attach it to the gnome. We're just going to lift the top of his hat back three inches from the bottom. You're just going to make a, a slit in his, into the noodle, I mean into the um, styrofoam and push that in and do the same thing for both sides. Then we're going to glue them in. Now I in the video only sh showed that I glued in just where it went into the arm, but I came back in and after I got it, his hands exactly and his arms exactly where I wanted them, then I did apply some glue underneath his arms. Go ahead and bend them over so he has a shoulder. And then start gluing them in. And you want to wait to glue them down the arms down to the body until after you figure out exactly where you want to put whatever he's holding. Mine's going to be holding a lemon. Okay, then I'm going to take a ribbon and I'm going to put it around that outside of his hat. Go ahead and glue the back of his hat in. Put your ribbon right in the center. It's a 26 inch piece of ribbon. And all you got to do is just glue some pieces, cut glue to the back side of him because you don't want it lifting. And then pull it on around and tie a bow. Kind of do it. I did mine off center. 
Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and figure out exactly where I want his lemon. I'm going to bend his arm to hold the lemon. And then I'm going to glue it in. And then I'm going to glue his arm to the lemon. Now I'm going to take some of this um, ribbon that has leaves on it, like the stuff I used last, last week. And I'm just going to take three leaves to put on the lemon, and I'm going to take three leaves to put on his hat. And so I'm just going to attach them with some hot glue, a little hot dot of hot glue at the end. And I'll show you that here in just a second. Just take three of them and kind of fan them out a little bit. And then I'm going to do the same configuration to put on his hat. Just attach a little bit of glue to it and stick it in his hat. Pretty easy. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I have another video, hit the bell. Thanks so much for watching.